Hello and welcome to a video on calculating the area of trapezia. Now just to get some language out of the way, trapezia is just plural for trapezium. So if we've only got one of them, we will call it a trapezium, but if we've got more than one, we call them trapezia. So what defines a trapezium, first of all? Well, you can see here that a trapezium has four sides, so it's a type of quadrilateral. But the main thing that defines a trapezium is that it only has one pair of parallel sides, which we can see with these red arrows here. So these red arrows just tell us that this length and this length are parallel, so they never meet each other. But trapezium only has one pair of parallel sides. So these two lengths, which you can quite clearly see, are not parallel. So with all of that out of the way, let's calculate the area of this trapezium. Now, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to cut the trapezium in half. So I'm going to draw a line, which is exactly halfway up from the base to the top of my trapezium. And I'm going to draw a line all the way through. So I'm cutting my trapezium in half. And I've tried to do this as accurately as possible. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the top of my trapezium and I'm going to move it over here and attach it to the end of the bottom of my trapezium. So if I just get my cutting tool out and I'm going to select the top part of my trapezium and I'm going to move it and rotate it 180 degrees. So I'm not changing the size, I'm just moving a part of it and I'm going to attach it onto the right hand side of my trapezium like that and now you can see i just need to attach just need to draw a line to finish this off and now what i've created is a parallelogram so i've effectively turned my original trapezium into a parallelogram but notice the really important part here is that the area has not changed because all i did was i moved part of it and rotated it and put it on the end here. So the area is still exactly the same. So if we can calculate the area of the parallelogram, well, that's gonna be exactly the same as the area of our original trapezium. And if you already have watched my video on areas of parallelograms, then you will know how to calculate the area of this shape. So just to recap, the area of a parallelogram is the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. So now if we find the area of our parallelogram, what is the base? Well, the base goes from here all the way up to here. So what is that distance? Well, the distance from here up to here is 10 centimeters. And then from here to here is six centimeters. Well, the total base is just 10 plus six, which is 16. So our base is 16 centimeters. And we're gonna multiply that by our perpendicular height which is this length here. Now, what is this length? Well, if you can remember rightly, when I drew my original trapezium, the height, which went up to here, you can see here is six centimeters. And remember, we cut this in half. So now the height of our parallelogram is just gonna be half of six, which is three. So it's gonna be three centimeters. So 16 times three is 48, and that is gonna be in centimeters squared. So the height of our parallelogram is 48 centimetres squared, which is exactly the same as the area of our trapezium. Now, if we wanted to come up with a general formula to represent the area of any trapezium, then we can just use letters to represent our side lengths. So here I've got A and B as our uh, parallel sides and H as our height. So to calculate the area of any trapezium, we first of all sum our parallel sides together. So we do A plus B. A plus B. Just like here, we added our uh, two parallel sides together. We did 10 plus 6 to give us 16. And then we multiply that by our perpendicular height. Well, in this case, our perpendicular height was 3, but that was just half of our original height of our trapezium. So here, the height of our trapezium is H, so we just take half of H as our perpendicular height. So I'm going to multiply that by half of our height. So this is the formula to calculate the area of any trapezium, but we can just write this slightly differently. So we could still do the sum of our parallel sides, but instead of multiplying by half our height, we could divide by two first and then multiply by our height. Now these two formulae are identical, they're just written in slightly different ways. And the reason why we would use both of these formulae is because it would depend on the question and the numbers in the question as to which one would be easier to use. 
Okay, so it's over to you now. Pause the video and see if you can calculate the area of these six trapezia. Okay, so I'm assuming you've paused the video and had a go, so let's go through it together now. So we're going to add the parallel sides together. So 10 plus 6. And then we're going to multiply that by half of our height. Well, half of 5 is 2.5. Now we could do this. But just a few moments ago, I said that we could use a slightly different formula and it would depend on the numbers we've got. So we could make this a slightly easier for ourselves and do 10 plus 6 and then divide by 2 and then times by our height. These two things are exactly the same, but this one at the bottom just looks a bit easier because we're not dealing with decimals. So 10 plus 6 is 16. Divide by 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. So our answer is 40 centimeters squared okay if we have a look at the next one so if we add our two parallel sides together and then let's divide by two and then let's multiply that by our height so nine plus seven is sixteen sixteen divided by two is eight eight times four is thirty two centimeters squared okay this next one so uh, we're going to add our parallel sides together so ten plus nine and then this time I'm going to multiply it by half our height, half our height, because when we half 12, we still get um, an integer. So half of 12 is 6. So 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 times 6, or 20 times 6 is 120. Take away 6 is 114. And that is not in centimetres squared. Be really careful. It is metres squared. OK, question D. So this time our trapezium has been rotated, so these are our parallel sides this time. So if we add those together, 30 plus 10, and now let's divide that by 2 and multiply by our height, which is 20. So that gives us 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. 20 times 20 is 400. So it's 400, and that is centimetres squared. Okay, now to question E. So our parallel sides are 5 and 17. So let's add those together. 5 plus 17. Then I'm going to divide that by 2 and multiply by our perpendicular height, which is 5. So 5 plus 17 is 22. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 11 times 5 is 55 centimetres squared. Okay, and last but not least, question F. So this time our parallel sides are 8 and 11. So if we add those together, 8 plus 11. Now instead of dividing by 2 and multiplying by our height, I'm going to just multiply that by half our height because we've got an even height here. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. And that gives us 8 plus 11, which is 19. 19 times 2 is 38. So it's 38 centimetres squared. So hopefully you found that interesting. And I hope it helped you understand where the formula for the area of a trapezium comes from. So I'm going to do another video on areas of trapezia, which is going to incorporate some problem solving. I'll see you then.